Okay, good evening everyone. Tonight we're going to show you how to do a simple mail merge using uh, Microsoft Office Word and Microsoft Office Excel. Excel will be our uh, information, our database so to speak. So we're going to start Microsoft Office Excel. And we're going to make this a real simple database just to show you how this works, but you can use the same techniques to manipulate what you need. First of all, we need our field names. So let's say we want to do a mailing list. First, obviously, we'll need a name, address, city, state, and zip code. Now, I'm not going to take the time to format the Excel spreadsheet, but we'll just want to put in some basic information. Uh, we'll start with my name, Derek Epperson. I'll uh, stretch this out a little bit just for review sake. 900. 900 South Main. Going to stretch these out just a bit here. Got to save for time. We're going to say uh, Los Angeles. I'm just going to make up fake addresses here. California 94011. Okay, now we want to do a couple of others just to show you that it is going to mail merge multiple names, not just a fluke where it does just one. So we'll do uh, Jane Doe. Who lives at 111 South or uh, North First uh, Street in uh, New York City, New York? Uh, I don't know what their zip code is there, so we'll say 10411. Again, we're just faking this information for now. And obviously, John Smith at 123. Private Boulevard, Miami, Florida. Uh, we'll say 50222. Okay, so we have a basic uh, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet with our field names, name, address, city, state, and zip, and then a bit of information for uh, example sake. So let's save this. Save it as an Excel workbook, that's fine. You don't have to save it as anything fancy. I'm going to go on and just uh, save it to my desktop for the sake of working here. We're going to call this um, uh, example addresses. Dot. We'll just leave that off and we'll save it. And that's all we have for now. So, okay, let's go on and close this out and let's start up Microsoft Word. Might have been nice if I'd already had that pulled up, but that's okay. Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. Okay. So what we'll do now is we're going to do just a simple mailing. Let's do a form letter. We'll make it real quick and easy. So we're going to go up here at the top. I'm using Microsoft Office Word version 2007. We're going to go to mailings. And let's take it here. We're going to do the uh, start a mail merge. It's going to ask us what we want to do. So we're going to start a letter. And that's all you really got to do. So we want to select our recipients. We want to use an existing list. Okay, from here we're going to find our list going by going to the desktop and finding that example addresses XLS. Obviously it pulls it up. Now we didn't do anything special with the um, with the worksheet, but we know it's on sheet one. So we're going to hit the enter button. <clears throat> and now we're going to insert our merge fields. So let's just go. So we got name, address, city, state, zip. So first of all, we'll insert the date, February 15th or 16th, I guess it is, because I'm doing this at night. Uh, we're going to do insert. Now some of these uh, Microsoft Word actually let you do something quick, like an address block. And you know you can put in your information based on that. I like using the individual merge fields just to know that I have them where I want them. So we're going to insert the name, we'll go on an address, city, state, and zip. Close that out. Now we're obviously going to separate these by line, name, address, city with a space, state, two spaces, and a zip. Dear Mr. and we can even put the name in here. Actually, we probably shouldn't use Mr. since we have a female in there. So we'll say Dear Name. Colin, I like your 
website, please write me back. Sincerely. The video producer. Now, obviously, this is not going to be formatted, formatted like a normal letter, business letter, or whatever, but it's just for the example here. So at this point, now, if we want to preview results, we just click on Preview Results, and it tells us Derek Epperson, 900 Main, Los Angeles, California. And we can use these arrows to check each of our individual. Here, you also see here, Jane Doe. It's also putting that information in. Whoops. A little carried away there. Let's just undo that. Go to our third one, John Smith, and then once we're ready to merge, we would hit Finish and Merge. We can edit individual documents if we want to put in uh, personal notes in each of those letters, or we can do Print, and even with Word, you can actually send an email message. Now, obviously, you will need to have email addresses for that. We won't get into that into this video. So again, we used Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to create a very simple database, Microsoft Office Word to create our form letter, insert our merge uh, merge fields individually and preview results and we're done that's how you use Microsoft Office Excel and Microsoft Office Word um, to create a um, mail list mailing a merge mail list